Yeah, no worries. No, you can do the intro. No worries. Oh, g'day, guys. I'm going to let uh, one of my mates here. He's going to do an intro for me. Uh, take it away, dude. Hi, guys. Yeah, it's Modern Warfare 3 School, day nine. Yeah, my name's Big Gay Al, and today we're going to be talking about tactical grenades. I'll have to teach with the guy just yes, I sex. And, oh, my God, I'd love a bit of tactical grenade action. <laughs> take it away, Yoss. God, Yoss, you've been working out. Jesus. Thanks, big guy. Out. Thanks, mate. That's a great intro. Look, I honestly, I, he's such a nice bloke. I can't understand why he can't find a nice woman. I just can't understand. Anyway, tactical grenades. We're going to talk about concussions, flashes, and EMP grenades. I'm going to tell you what's the throwing time, stunning times, and my personal preference, and what game types I believe you should use them in, and what works best for me. So, without further ado, let's do it. Alrighty, guys. Let's get into a concussion without. Quick draw pro. So the throwing time is one second. Uh, the, the actual concussion only lasts four seconds. And now it does slow you down, doesn't blow your vision that much. Uh, so it does last four seconds, which is pretty standard with, you'll see right along the board here, the, the flash grenade. One second to throw with that quick draw. And the actual flash lasts for an extra second. So it absolutely blinds you. You can't do much. You can still move at the same speed, but it blinds you for approximately five seconds. So... Very, very handy grenade to use because uh, it does blind your vision so much. Now, the EMP grenade, I think this is an absolutely great grenade. Uh, point to a second without quick draw, just launches out of your hand. And you'll see here, the EMP, it blinds you, it affects you for 10 seconds, which is unbelievable. I think this is very, very, very underrated. Uh, you can't do anything with your kill streaks, portable radar, can't see UAV for 10 seconds. So, quick draw pro with concussion. 0.2 of a second. It launches out of your hand. As you'll see here, it does not affect the, the time at which you are concussed. It still lasts for four seconds. So Quick Draw Pro only increases the speed at which you throw the grenade, not the, the amount of time that it actually lasts. So moving along to Flash with Quick Draw Pro. Very, very similar to Concussion. 0.2 of a second. So it speeds it up by 0.8 of a second. But as you'll see here, the Flash Grenade... It lasts for that extra extra second, so it lasts for five seconds, and it absolutely completely blinds you. So, very very handy grenade to use. Very very handy. Uh, moving along, EMP with Quick Draw Pro is an absolute rocket. 0.1 of a second. It just launches out of your hand, and the same as before. It, the EMP actually lasts for 10 seconds, so you can't use your UAVs. You can't use any kill streaks. You can't see your map. It, it basically ruins you for 10 seconds, really. Uh, especially these guys that are camping. It's great to get rid of guys that camp like that. So they can't see any of their mini maps with their portable radar. So very, very handy grenade. It is my go-to uh, attack grenade when I'm struggling. I do tend to lean towards the EMP grenade. Now, the game types. Concussion. I think CTF, because it slows down the enemy and it actually, when they try and pull your flag, you can actually slow them down so they can't run away. Uh, TDM, obviously, because it throws a little bit quicker. And you can just check areas with it uh, and people keeping in corners and that. Now, the flash grenade, I do recommend domination because it gives you time to cap flags and blinds the enemy team. And also team defender because you also have a lot of a lot of members of the one team in that area where they're trying to go to for that uh, team defender area and also drop zone. They're all in that one area, so it will blind them for a, for a little while to give you get you time to, to rush in there and kill them all. Now, the EMP grenade, I use it in free-for-alls and because it just disarms claymores and beddies and things like that, everyone likes to camp. So getting rid of somebody's mini-map in, in free-for-all, I think, is very, very crucial and also to get rid of those guys who camp behind their, their claymores and things like that. Uh, the EMP grenade is definitely my go-to tack grenade. When I'm struggling with Call of Duty, I always go to my EMP grenade because I think, you know, for you to have a personal EMP in your hand every time you die is a great advantage. Uh, especially if you're a team player, uh, disabling that person, you know, it does help you um, get to them if they're camping behind things and also your teammates, they can't see your teammates coming on their mini-map or see any other gunfire. So definitely, definitely, I recommend, uh, if you're not using Quick Draw Pro, I recommend the EMP grenade. If you're using Quick Draw Pro, then basically run anything you like because the flash is very, very powerful when using Quick Draw Pro because it throws so fast and it does so much damage, so... Uh, please give the video a like, guys. That's it for episode 9. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it gave you guys a little bit more insight into flashes and stuns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, please hit that like button for me and also leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, appreciate you guys watching and listening to me. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Kai.